If you're feeling overwhelmed, overcommitted, wondering why your time is already gone, why you're not doing what you want to do this semester, this video is for you because there's a sneaky thought that's probably showing up for you. Before I set that stage, my name is Caitlin Foss. I'm a certified life and weight coach, and I help professors reclaim five hours of their week every week for themselves, not their universities. So here's the thought that's probably holding you back. Uh, and it shows up in all kinds of situations as a professor. It's when a student asks you to do something or when an administrator makes a request for you to be on a committee or one of your kids says something and you have the thought it's not going to take that much time. It's not going to take that much time. You feel some version of pretty good thinking that. Or you're kind of like, yeah, it's not going to take that much time. I feel good. And then you say yes. Or then you, you know, you take the next step of like, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to sign up for it. I'm going to tell that student, I'll read that paper. I'll answer that email. I will sign up for that committee because you know what I told myself? It's not going to take that much time. And in that moment, it doesn't take that much time to say yes. But what your brain's not thinking about is the future and how that will show up on your schedule. Brains are pretty notorious for not actually understanding time in any kind of construct. We could say it's an illusion too, right? Of Like time is an illusion in the grand scheme of things here. So brains actually can't even comprehend what's going on of uh, how much time the task will actually take. Whatever it is that you might be signing up for. Whatever it is that you're saying yes to. And you know this to be true because so many times you've overestimated the time that it was going to take to do something or underestimated the time it was going to take to do something. So in the moment, you've got something in front of you, a decision to make, and you tell yourself it's not going to take that much time. It actually holds you back because this looks like in September saying yes, all kinds of things, feeling pretty good, feeling like, yeah, this is a good decision for me compared to in November when you're like, why, why is this happening? How did I get here? Some of my clients are feeling this right now in September. Like I said yes to a lot of things this summer and this isn't quite what I envisioned for my September. And we're working through that. This is the work I do with my clients. I hear them say something like, it's not going to take me that much time. I notice it. I show that back to them. I say, you just said it's not going to take that much time. You've been saying that on repeat, sometimes I'll say, in a very kind and loving way, right? Like, I don't have judgment about this because I'm sure I've said it before myself. This is part of the work that I did, though, in figuring out how to maximize my time and how to reclaim the hours that I wanted for myself. I caught that thought. Wait a minute. That doesn't serve me. There's something else I need to think in these moments. When a student makes a request of me, I need to pause and not say, it's not going to take that much time. Like say that to myself in my head, but think, hmm, I bet I can figure out if I want to commit to this or not. I just have to like, even just a pause in my brain of like, pause brain. I know you really want to feel great right now and tell ourselves that it's not going to take that much time, but wait a minute. Let's weigh our options here. Let's like step back and think I need, I need a pause feel calm about it, and then start to generate the ideas of figuring it out of like, okay, wait a minute. The last time a student asked me to do this, or the last time I signed up for a committee, here's what happened. Here's how much time it actually took. If I had to take my best guess, how many hours do I think this is going to take? Do I want to commit to that? My brain thinks it's not going to take that much time right now. Wait a minute. What if it took double what I think it's going to take? Would I still sign up? Right? Like ask yourself those kinds of questions before just diving in and saying yes. Or say, like this is such a classic thought for procrastination because you can tell yourself something you've already committed to. Well, it's not going to take that much time. So we don't need to do it today. Let's do it tomorrow. Because, you know, I mean, it's only going to take a couple hours. And then you find yourself up against a deadline like, oh, no, this actually takes me 10 hours instead of the five that my brain had convinced me and tried to cram into uh, a weekend. Here I am working on the weekend because I was telling myself the story that it's not going to take that much time. It is a story. So 
if you need help with this, what are the thoughts that you're having that you're believing that are making you take action that hold you back, that lead you to that overwhelmed, overcommitted, frustrated space? Let's do this work together. Reach out, get a consult call. Let's talk about how I can help you see your own brain and use your time wisely. Get those five hours every week. My clients are doing it every day and it's so amazing to witness. It would be an honor to help you through that process. I'll talk to you soon.